Peace, love, and light, guys. What's going on? It's your girl, Crystal, the Raw Spiritual Guru, coming through with a channel message today. Okay, guys. So, I wanted to try something different. We still got to pick a card, like pick a pile card theme. But I have this channel message, and I'm going to basically read the channel message that I wrote down. And then you can pick from which deck you want me to, uh, what, which deck you want to receive further messages from. We have deck one with the Aboriginal deck. We have deck two with the Shamanic deck, and deck three with the Energy Oracle deck, okay? So, first and foremost, thank you for tuning into my channel, the IC. Welcome if this is your first time coming through. If you're returning, hey tribe, thanks for returning to all. Thank you for your time and your energy. You could be anywhere, but you're here with me today. So for that, thank you. All right. If you don't know, the IC is named after my metaphysical shop where you can find your handmade copper and crystal jewelry and your magical spiritual tools. My loves coming soon. I will definitely be doing more of the Reiki healing practices as well as um, energy work, right? So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe for uh, my newsletter on my website check out my social medias and follow me there too loves come on now show your girls some support and love all right so you can meditate on which pile you want to choose but right now i'm just going to say the channel message okay and the message is when darkness seek the light when in darkness seek the light when you feel like there is no hope and you are drowning and all of your efforts are failing when you feel all alone even in the room of many when your eyes see plenty when you turn to things that often leads to pain and throw away all of your hard work and gains when darkness overwhelms you how do you escape you see the light but it seems so far away distance with every step you take you get closer but the darkness you cannot shake fight in between the good and bad you want you need your life or death knowing that you are one step away one choice away from a different world so do you continue to take steps forward or get lost in a downward cycle Ultimately, the choice is yours to go through one of these doors. I'll help guide your way, but when you get there, are you willing to stay? When darkness, seek the light. All right. So that was the channel message that I received. So some of you guys might be in a down place right now in your life. You might feel like there's no way out, no hope. You might just feel hopeless. Like whatever you try it don't work for you like every time you take one foot forward it's three steps being taken back so if this message is really resonating to you then this is the reading for you guys and you can choose your pile so we want to see what additional messages we have from that channel message right so spirit for pile number one can you please give me additional messages that they need to hear to seek the light okay please give me some additional messages for power one spirit okay so connectivity connecting the dots what is it that you're missing power number one responsibility connecting the dots again you got dots again so all of these are connecting the dots responsibility and balance so I'm just getting a strong message for power number one when darkness seek the light so it's going to be important for you to connect with yourself right find balance between your light and your dark it's not saying to completely overshadow the light with the dark but you need to find a happy medium i'm also getting for power number one it's going to be important for you to take responsibility power number one take responsibility for your part in your darkness right if you feel as though that you've been really heavy lately and just things have been going your way take responsibility for some of the action that may have caused this darkness right not saying that you are the cause but we all play a part of our problems are good or bad right so how can you look at the part you played and basically fix that into um a positive outlook right 
but it's important for you to connect with yourself i'm just feeling like missing pieces like this pile i'm just getting a really heaviness with this pile i'm just getting like um like maybe you the type of person when you're down you're down you're down and out right so it's going to be important for you to pick yourself back up because like something is outweighing the other and you really need to find balance and these dots is just really helping me like see that you really need to connect back to yourself everything needs to come back full circle right so you could be kind of out of balance with yourself right so we're going to actually pull some spiritual cards for this one please give me some additional messages for pile one energy vampire around be careful okay so somebody is in your energy field that's making you feel like this right you could have some people that's trying to keep you down a lot of negativity naysayers people that kind of wish you harm um like that's kind of like blocking you from really being your true self or really connecting all your dots right that's keeping you in balance But like I said, take responsibility. So if you feel like you have toxic or negative people around you, what are you going to do about it? It's time for you to really see who is in your circle. You might need to look at Psalms 23, okay? So that is to gain and ask for peace, right? Psalms 23 is basically a Bible verse that allows you to ask for peace, right? It brings peace, make you more fulfilled. If you keep saying it over and over or listening to it over and over, it will bring peace into your world. So you might be the part that's truly seeking peace. Um, your energy might be kind of chaotic right now too or all over the place because all these cards keep just falling all over the place. So it's going to just be important for you to really trying to find the dots within yourself, balance yourself and try to take responsibility of certain things that's going on in your life. One more please, sir. All right, so work on your root chakra. Wanted to come out too, so and look towards nature. So it's gonna be important for you to ground pile number one. So to get more rooted, you can go out into Mother Earth barefooted and just say, "I am grounded. I am protected. I am rooted." You can use whatever other affirmations or mantras you choose to use, but your energy is out of whack because your root chakra is out of whack. You need to ground yourself more and stay in the present moment, right? Try to really find who it is that you are again. Really take responsibility for the life that you want to lead and find balance because there is a light at the end of the tunnel for you, right? But you have to just be careful because it seems like other people in your energy is causing this dark cloud in your aura. So it's going to be important for you to identify who this is or who these people might be and really like act accordingly. So you might have to start getting rid of people um that's not best for you okay and it's hard to really tell people that but honestly it's you have to choose yourself for someone else at this point okay but really kind of look at the psalms um regardless of your religion okay look at the psalms um it definitely will help your spirit go into nature and get yourself more rooted okay so that is going to be your read and pile number one i hope it resonated if you like it please make sure you like share and subscribe Thank you. All right, so pile number two, the one that shows the schematic that when darkness seek the light, let's see what's going on for you. Can you please give us some additional information? How can they seek the light, spirit? When in darkness, how can pile number two seek the light? New day. Feminine energy. How can they seek the light? Slow but steady. So spirit is really, I'm getting a focus on your self energy. How can you seek the light power number two? Focus on your self energy more than anything. You have, these cards is really dark. But you have slow and steady, feminine energy, and new day. So the number 11, 17, 3, number 2, or 8 can be of importance to you as well. But with the feminine energy being here, I'm just getting solely focused on your feminine energy. Whether you're a male or you're a female, your feminine energy needs some attention. So the yin energy, your inner self, 
your spirituality how do you treat yourself how are you taking care of yourself how are you loving yourself how do you expect someone to treat you and take care of you if you're not a reflection of that right so spirit is saying that it's a new day focus on the present focus on your right now focus on today stay in this energy don't focus on tomorrow don't focus on yesterday but focus on right now that things might be going slow in your life but they are steady maybe you're also the type of person that want results right away and spirit is just saying that you have to understand that unfortunately it's not going to come when you want it to come but it's going to come when you need it to come right so just understand that um but you definitely need to focus on your energy so the last pile had dots this pile has circles and swirls so things is going to become a full circle in your life but if you look at it right it's like squirrel so you might like i said slow and steady so even though it's going to become a full circle it's going to take you a while for it to get full circle so you definitely need to practice patience pile number two practice patience right now because what you want is going to be coming but it's not going to come yet new day is here so just continue to focus on today and understand that you're going to have another chance to get what it is that you want or get out of the rut you're going to be able to see the light again right but maybe you're really in a masculine energy and spirit saying that you need to focus on your spiritual energy so focus on your spiritual self how you taking care of yourself like what are you saying how are you speaking right now it's important for you to really look at that because you could keep yourself in this negative cycle i kind of wanted to pull these cards for clarifications um so let's just see okay please give me some clarification as far as how to energy how can they get out of the darkness spirit how can they find the light be the light be light-hearted finding out things coming to the light adapt change heal just what i said and i'm going to do some spiritual cards because i really wanted to do these two for all the piles but this one i had to just receive additional message for you guys so like i said spirit is just saying to focus on yourself how can you be the light how can you see the light by being the light you see the light by being the light you see in the light by healing yourself by changing to come into the light to finding things out about yourself by focusing on yourself and understanding that the results are going to come but just be more patient and tap into who it is you truly are how are you taking care of yourself do you even see yourself as a light right all right so please give me some additional messages for pile two I feel like with this pile, because I got my song that I did on my um, vegan channel called uh, the Kanye West Post on Sunday Remix. And the beginning is like darkness slowly fading, but live in, excuse me, darkness slowly creeping, but live in the light. So you could be the pile that really want to live in the light, but darkness always finds its way to you. And like you continuously try and try. So it could be that you could be going through some type of karma right now. And spirit is saying that a change is needed. So maybe, um, and you have stay still. So maybe it's that um, with you, karma is coming through for you right now. So you might be going through a karmatic cycle right now. And spirit is saying like right now it's for you to stay still. Here we go again, being in the present, staying still, being right now, being present for today. But a change is needed for you. So you might need to start changing your outlook, right? How are you looking at things again? How are you looking at things? This is just double confirmation of what I said, pile number two. But you might be going through a cycle of karma and that's why darkness might, might be creeping in your life right now and just basically live for today honor yourself treat yourself how you want to be treated understand that things are going to happen when they need to happen so live for today okay your message was very clear be the light that you want to have in your life okay all right pile number two thank you for tuning in that was your message okay if you liked it please make sure you like share and subscribe and join the tribe peace Pile number three, if you chose the energy oracle, this is going to be your reading. All right, pile number three. So 
When darkness seeks the light. So what's going on with you, pile number three? Please give me, how can pile number three seek the light? Starting in the gate, door to spirit. You need to go outside. You need to go outside more. And practice love. All right, so pile number three. It's going to be important for you to go outside into nature, okay? How can you seek the light? You can seek the light, get out of a dark phase of your life by going outside and appreciating nature and the beauty that it has for you, as well as to tap into your spirituality more, to tap into your spiritual gifts, to tap into whatever religion or spiritual practice you believe in, but you need to get more in tune with it and be a part of it fully, okay? It's not, not saying like, oh, I'm this or I'm that, actually acting on it, right? The Spirit is saying that in order for you to get to your light, it's going to be important for you to be more in tune with yourself and your spirit as well as be open to receiving love whether it might be a woman of some kind coming into your life to try to give you love it could be a family member it could be a lover of some kind it could be um just a stranger that just want to like shower you with love and blessings and help you out but you have to be open to receiving so i feel like with this pile you have to be open to receiving it's going to be important for you to be open to receiving from yourself, from spirit, and from others, okay? So maybe you can have trust issues, pile number three. It's important for you to just be a little bit more open and let your guard down. Like with the garden and the gate, you feel like you're stuck behind this gate when it's this big world that you can explore, right? But you're stuck behind this small garden, which is beautiful, but the world behind the garden is more abundant and full of surprises right so you could be someone that don't like change as well i'm getting that you could be someone that's just really like stuck in what it is that you want to do and what it is that you like so it's going to be important for you to be a little bit more open but spend more time in nature go out into nature spend more time in nature appreciate the small things that we have in our lives appreciate greenery um to connect with your spirit family and your spiritual guides more as well and to allow love into your heart it's going to be important for you to do that to get out of your darkness okay so we're going to get we're going to take one of these cards and then we're going to get some spirit cards so please give me an additional message of how can pile number three get out of their darkness please give me an excuse me please give me an additional message so religious factor so basically spirit is basically talking right now so it's going to be important for you to connect with your spirit connect with your faith um it says your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing but it could be that maybe you could be meeting people that you feel though isn't spiritually compatible with you so you need to figure out what is it that you truly have or are spiritually like who are you spiritually so you can connect with a person that's on the same journey as you are in your spiritual life right so it's important for you to really tap into that energy in order for you to get out of your darkness pile number three all right please give me some additional messages for pile three talk to your angels chant so you like spirit is really talking to you okay you, you definitely have to get in tune with your spiritual self pile number three in order for you to get out your darkness you might feel a lot of heaviness and pressure on you at times because you might be the power that feel like you're doing right i i do right i do everything right like i'm in tune like what you talking about i'm not spiritually connected i do what i gotta do like i pray i meditate like you might need you might need to just really like redefine it okay so they're saying to talk to your angels to chant and to help others in need so it's going to be important for you to um, be a little bit more giving as well as be open to receiving so help others that's currently in need as well as to be open to, to receive help from others to chant to do some type of affirmations or chant and to talk to your spiritual family your angels your guides ask them for help if you're really struggling with the direction that you're going in or if you need clarity 
but it's definitely important for you to really focus on your spiritual aspect in order for you to get out of any dark phase you might be going through right now as well as be more open to being outdoors and to exploring more options and opportunities outside of your comfort zone and to be open to receiving love from others as well as giving love to others and helping people in need okay um all right so that was your reading pile number three if you like the reading or if it resonated please make sure you like share and subscribe until next time loves peace